flowers, they brighten up a yard. I have sunflowers, peonies. In my garden, I have all of my favorite flowers. These can get a little dingy now and then, so you want to just spruce them up a little bit. I only plant silk flowers in my yard because I do not have to take care of them. Real flowers die, and then you have to buy new ones and plant more. Artificial flowers save a lot of money. I'm an avid gardener who goes a whole year without spending anything on my garden because I don't use fertilizer or water. I, I would never do it myself if I was on my own, but I like it. I don't think my neighbors know my flowers are fake because they compliment how nice they look. The flowers are very interesting. In the wintertime, I'll be out here shoveling snow and looking over, and we've got these bright yellow flowers in the middle of winter. My garden has everything in it, even the whimsical things like bees and butterflies. My children love it. Jamie J is a mother of two who is always looking for creative ways to cut costs. Is it okay? Hold that up. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. My family loves my cheap ways because it's just fun. There we go. Perfect. We get to do a lot more stuff than the normal people get to do for way less money. <laughs> a jungle gym costs about $1,000. The cardboard box slide is completely free. <laughs> it's not so much an obsession, but she just wants to get the most out of everything. She's fine. <laughs> Can you get her? I will do almost anything to save money, but nothing illegal. Like, I would not make copies of movies or take money out of a fountain. I would not rob a home. I am creatively cheap. I'll use any material that I can find. The most common material in kitty litter is clay. To make clay out of used kitty litter, I strain it and just get rid of the clumps, and then you just add water. Clay is very expensive. 50 pounds worth could run 70 to $100. By making clay out of my old kitty litter, I save hundreds of dollars a year. And I can sculpt pretty much anything out of it. A regular funeral could cost $10,000. And then a custom headstone might start at $2,000. I don't want to pay for a tombstone, so I'm making it for free, pretty much. My wife's headstone wasn't what I expected, but she's very resourceful, and she'll always find new ways to save money. The people in my life might think it's a little strange, but I don't think it's strange at all. I think it's pretty smart. And it will save my children money when I pass away. Landscaping can cost as much as $500 a year. I want my yard to look amazing, but I don't want to spend a dime on maintenance. We have some green grass type carpet. My goal is to eventually replace the whole lawn with something like this. That'll save a lot of money on lawn care. Suburban housewife Jamie J's green thumb has saved her thousands of dollars. So where are we going? Now she's got a plan to trim her landscaping costs down to zero. Hello, I'm looking for some outdoor carpeting like AstroTurf or something. OK. Uh, I actually have some sampling back here I can show you. OK. I'm going to look for a really good deal for artificial grass for my yard. That way, we don't have to spend anything on maintenance. This would work really well for your patio, your concrete porch. Do you have anything a little softer? Because my kids are probably going to be playing on it. OK, well, that, this is probably the softest one that we have. Is that OK um, for outdoors? We've done. Putting greens, I feel this would be a good product well, right um, here. Actually, I'd like to do my entire yard. 40 feet by 40 feet. Boy, that's just not typical. Uh, you're actually talking about going over your grass? Yeah. That, that's something that we can do. 
I don't know what your budget looks like, but uh. Hundred dollars. The square footage Jamie gave me, I, I feel you'd be in minimum thirty-five thousand dollars on up. I don't even know what to suggest here, other than uh, uh, I'll show you what I have that might be a lot more in your price range. Why don't we do oh, that? Oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, let's take a look. This might be in, in your interest here. It's very durable. Oh, this is great. It wasn't green, but I'm gonna be creative and I'm gonna use it for my kind of like fake mulch in my flower beds. Thank yep. you, I appreciate it. Okay, good. To get my artificial lawn together, I'm gonna have to be able to get as many pieces of artificial grass as I can from as many places as I can. And then it's your golf. Awesome. Ready to golf? Well, um, we kind of aren't interested in golfing today. I was wondering if you have any leftover green, like putting green. We have a little bit in our yard and we are trying to save up enough to do our whole yard with it. Oh, wow. That's interesting. Uh, <laughs> let me see what we have, okay. I guess. <laughs> yeah, thanks. I figure they have 18 holes of green and they have to have some scraps somewhere. We're supposed to rip this one out in a couple of days. It's gonna be replaced. Okay, let me look at it. Ooh, it's oh, loose. It. Did the glue disintegrate? Yeah, it's pretty, that's why it's the one that's getting replaced. You can oh. see you won in it, you can have it. You're gonna have to rip it out though, so. I can do it today? Yeah, I can help <laughs> you if you want. Oh, the chicken! My feet are hot! I would love to see what it's gonna look like when it's done. I mean, it's different. I would never do it. <laughs> Definitely the last time I'll have to do landscaping. <laughs> have you? Have you? The brown carpet's working out, I think, very well. It's really easy just to cut a hole and stick the plant right through. That way, there's no uh, place for weeds to grow up. Yeah, this stuff is heavy. The yard's gonna need a lot of work this week, finessing it, cleaning it, but for now, we're just getting it in place. I like the maintenance-free aspect of it. You don't have to cut it. Maybe just once in a while you might have to sweep it. That's about it. How are you guys? Good. Well, it good. looks like a storm's coming, though. Yeah, better hurry up. <laughs> yeah. I think their artificial landscaping looks a little bit tacky to me. I would have done their landscaping differently and not used miniature golf grass. Some people spend over $1,500 a year on landscaping. We didn't spend barely anything. Thunder! So far, it's going pretty good. Being cheap has become a way of life. I just consider it a hobby and a game, and it's fun. I don't ever want to stop being cheap. At least they won't get muddy feet. 